A total of 2.4 billion US dollars has been pledged during the second international humanitarian pledging conference for Syria. These amounts will be used to provide relief to Syrians displaced within Syria and those who fled to refugee camps in neighboring countries such as Jordan, Iraq, Egypt, Lebanon and Turkey. Sarah Glubb has this report on the distribution of the aid. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon appealed for the world to raise 6.5 billion U.S. dollars to help alleviate the suffering of the Syrian people displaced or seeking refuge. Well, there is a, a, a 4.2 war for uh, the refugees outside, the rest is for the people inside Syria. Um, but uh, what is important to say is that it looks a lot of money, but we are talking now of uh, uh, almost half of the Syrian population you need the humanitarian assistance inside and outside. Uh, we are having uh, uh, more than two million Syrian refugees in the neighboring countries. The impact in their economies, in their societies, in their security is huge. Um, communities, I, mean, I visited uh, in Lebanon and Jordan villages that have more Syrians than Lebanese or Jordanians and this of course creates uh, dramatic um, uh, problems to those communities. So massive uh, solidarity, massive international support to the refugees, to the people displaced inside Syria and to the host communities in the neighboring countries is essential. Uh, it looks uh, a lot of money, but if you think about banks in the world, namely in my part of the world in Europe, that have been um, bailed out. We believe that they're the, they're, we did submit to the donors uh, for this conference a what we called a needs assessment from all of the organizations that are supporting the activities inside and outside Syria, identifying the financial um, <coughs> the financial requirements necessary to meet uh, the needs of those who have been impacted for both inside Syria and outside Syria. So for example, we uh, are supporting 4.25 million internally displaced people inside Syria for WFP and another 1.8 million people outside Syria. And our program next year will cost about $2.2 .2 billion in order for us to provide the food assistance that's necessary to that population. And so the balance of the $6 billion is divided amongst other organizations who've identified the kind of assistance that's necessary to meet not just the food needs, the water, the shelter, the schools, um, all of the needs of people who have nothing. They've lost everything. Ban thanked His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah and the people of Kuwait for the donation of 500 million US dollars for their efforts and for hosting the second conference in a row dedicated to raising pledges for the Syrian crisis. Clearly, uh, the refugee needs are very great, but there's also a lot of need inside. There are more than twice as many internally displaced persons as there are refugees, so we'll have, they'll have to look at some kind of a formula for that. I don't know what it is, but clearly the conference that the, His Highness has uh, initiated was designed to address both issues, internal and external refugees. Well, I believe that uh, uh, this second conference will um, continue the spirit of uh, responsibility, of solidarity and commitment like the previous one, the first one, uh, which uh, I believe uh, uh, once again um, under the leadership of, of His Highness, uh, the Emir of the State of Qatar, uh, achieved results and um, uh, had a very, I would say, concrete uh, impact uh, on the ground of uh, feeding and we, we saw this uh, this morning the figures that uh, millions of uh, Syrians were fed, provided uh, food and shelter, uh, 600,000 kids were, were brought back to school. I mentioned this because we at UNESCO also were involved and still are involved in uh, working uh, with, uh, with Syrian um, uh, children. Um, it, it has an impact and I do believe that um, uh, this second conference will continue this spirit of uh, solidarity and, and, and I would say expression of um, uh, human compassion to the Syrian people. Currently, nearly half the Syrian population, around 9.3 million people, urgently need basic humanitarian aid. 
Since Kuwait hosted the first international humanitarian pledging conference for Syria last year, almost triple the number of Syrians are now in urgent need of basic humanitarian necessities. And this important gathering reflects how serious the situation has become and how committed the countries and NGOs are in solving the crisis. From Bayan Palace, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.